All right, hey again, everybody. Um, what I'm gonna do here today is just sort of show you how I resize brass on a single stage press, which I feel like is a pretty quick way to do it. Um, what I do uh, to lube my uh, cases is I've got this old uh, coffee uh, can here and I'll use some of this spray lube. Like right now I've got the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal um, case lube. Uh, the Hornaday one shot, I've used it too. But what I'll do is just uh, put my brass that's ready to be sized in here. I'll put a few sprays of the of the uh, case lube in there and then put the lid on this thing and just kind of roll it around in my hand sort of like this a little bit and just kind of get all the brass you know coated really well and and then look in there and kind of make sure everything looks like it's you know got some lube on it and um, and then I'm good to go I'll let that flash off you know dry for you know a minute or two and uh, then I've just got an old paper plate here and I'll pour it out in there because um, I think it's way easier to to pick it up out of that rather than having to reach over into a uh, container like so and um, what I have right here is uh, 20, 25 pieces of a 223 brass. So there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. So you can see I've got 25 pieces to go right there. And I'm going to show you kind of my process and... Uh, how fast I can uh, run this single stage press. I have a container right here. This is how many I've done already. I got a container here to put the um, uh, size brass into and uh, that way it'll be ready. Um, I can take this container to um, my Gerard uh, triway trimmer that I like to use so good. So it'll be ready to go. So let me get the camera resituated here just a little bit. Hopefully where you can see what's going on here as good as possible. Maybe you can see what's happening. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll just get rolling and you guys can kind of just watch the timer on the, um, on the video here and see how long it takes me to size 25 pieces. So. Here we go. This is my way of doing it. And here in a second, I'll show you kind of kind of what I'm doing here. Essentially, I'm trying to eliminate the need for a brass ejector like on a on a press. And I'm not trying to set any kind of speed record here for y'all and the video. You know, this is about the pace that I normally go at. So sometimes, you know, just depending on the way I pick, I pick the brass up over here on the from the plate, that'll slow me down a little bit, especially if one's turned the wrong way. That was all of them right there got one stuck um so that was 25 pieces in i don't know i don't i don't think it probably took me any more than a minute to do that maybe 45 seconds to a minute something like that i'm just guessing um so anyway the the method i'm using here to move brass in and out of the press as fast as possible is so you start out with a piece of brass in the press so you put that in there well what you're trying to do here is to do much as much with your non-dominant hand whatever hand you're not running the press try to do as much with that as possible while you're operating the ram over here so while i'm sizing this piece i'm i'm reaching over here into my plate and picking up another piece while this one's getting sized 
then as soon as this clears the die just enough for me able to me to be able to get my hand in there i will take i'll make a v uh with my i'm, I'm holding this uh this piece of uh, brass that's ready to go in the press, I'm holding it between my thumb and index finger. Then I make a V with uh, my middle finger here. And with this V, I'm gonna reach in here and I'm gonna, all you gotta pretty much do is just close your fingers together and it'll just pop that, that one piece out of the press just like that. And then right after I do that, I'm sliding the other piece in with my with my thumb, the other piece of brass. And to keep yourself from getting confused, like which one, you know, which one have you already sized and which one haven't you, you just always remember it's the one that you've got pinched between two fingers, like you're holding a cigarette or a cigar or something like that. That's that's the one you know you've already done. And that's the one you'll throw in your sized batch and then you'll pick another one up over here you know and just repeat that same process um i may be able to get a, a little different camera angle on the press here let me let me see if i can move the camera okay yes i have been able to get a better camera angle here so now let's run over that one more time here's the the piece of brass that's ready to be sized you'd run that up into the die and then as soon as you bring it down and the case will clear the press, I'm taking my middle finger here and I'm just grabbing the, putting my finger behind the brass and pretty much just squeezing my fingers together. And that will just slide that one right out of the shell holder. Then I'm just popping, popping that one in with my thumb and it's just a rinse and repeat motion there. But I see a lot of people when they size on a single stage press, they'll run this case up in there, bring it down, and the whole time they've been operating the ram, they've not been doing anything with their free hand. So, you know, that's, th this is one thing that can majorly speed you up if you're sizing uh, a bunch of brass. But just remember, the key to reloading that I've found is try to accomplish as much as possible while you're doing another operation, especially with a single stage press. So that's that's another little helpful hint. Hopefully that uh, that'll work for you guys. And uh, thanks again for watching.